Well, hi guys, another video. This one is a video we don't really want to do, but uh, we'll do it because it happened. As you can see, I um, broke my tie rod completely off. I think it was this way, yeah. Uh, you can see, if I try and match that up, it was bent like that. Tie rod end was bent like that, and when I tried to hit it with a hammer, see if it would straighten, it just snapped in two. To get these tie rod ends is near impossible now. Um, you can hunt around in some of the mower, old rider mower shops and see they might have one out the back as a spare. Uh, you know, that's my advice. If you're an old, you know, of an old mower shop that's been there for decades, possibly that used to stock greenfields, they might have one out the back. I got lucky doing that and I got, I was able to get that off uh, a mower shop we used to service greenfields. They, they, they stock the new ones too now, but the new ones are made in China. Um, when you get, this is a 2009 fast cut, 16 and a half, 16 and a half horse, 32 inch deck, and um, so, you know, being that age, uh, what's that, uh, 15 years old now, um, you can't get the parts anymore new. So go looking for a second hand one from an old mower shop or buy one of these uh, model mowers that have really been uh, knocked around and they're just getting rid of it for parts. Then you've got a second one to rob for anything else that goes wrong. Um, that's one good way of doing it. Um, I noticed uh, the new Chinese uh, made green fields have the, have the tie rod set up. Um, the metal wouldn't, the steel wouldn't be as good as the old heavy duty type there. I, I, I looked and the, the, you know, Chinese steel is probably not as good. But it, I don't know if they're the same length. That might be another way around of it, is to buy, is to take the old one in and um, measure it up against the new ones they sell for the new green fields. If they're, if they're um, the same length, you've got to obviously check the thread. Make sure you can, or you might have to buy two tie rod ends uh, to match up the thread. That might be easier for you. So you're buying the whole, the whole setup, the rod and the two tie rod ends of a new, brand new model. There's, a, as you can see, there's a certain amount of adjustment with the front ones. It's pretty much you use a whole lot. Um, now, obviously, that's the old one. And I'm going to put on this old second-hand new one to get this thing running. You centre your steering wheel, so you got your, your wheels sitting straight and with the steering wheel. And you line up the broken one, which is this one, so I can move it any way, every which way, because uh, it's got no tie rod, tie rod uh, connected to it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use this old, this came with this tie rod end, it was on it. So besides the boot, it's still got, uh, it's still okay in my book. Um, I've got another one if I want to put it on there, but I'm going to use it anyway. That's screwed up as far as it can go. That's the locking nut. I've got this screwed up as far as it can go the other end. And we want to get this on so we can go mowing again. Um, so I'm just going to screw this into the tie rail in this side. I think you can see that on camera. Right up. And so and then we're gonna pop it in to the steering this side. It's a bit tricky. So we've got one wheel sitting straight and this one's sitting out a bit. So this tie rod right in will have to come out a little bit. We 
we're going to adjust him out a bit. See what I'm doing? I'm adjusting him out. Make this wheel sit. Or you can do it that way. You can move the other one. You know, you can move this one out. that one out or turn the nest and that'll bring this out further too so let's see where we are now we'll just sort of line that up that look? Looks fairly decent. So obviously when you get it to slide in without too much trouble, like your um, tie rod end is not trying to go in that way, you bring it out so it lines up and you can slide it in to this control arm here. Um, you can tighten it up. Now remember to tighten these tie rod ends up. You need say 12 mil open ender on the tie rod itself, between the control arm and the boot. Otherwise, the, it will just turn around, turn around on you, and you can't do up the tie rod end. So that's a 12 mil at the top between the boot and the control arm, and 13 mil socket to do up the tie tie in the tie rod end itself. Uh, what have we got here? I think I've got this out before. Looks a bit right, doesn't it? No, 17. Is that the one? 17, I'm lying to you. It's a 17 mil socket. Tight. We'll have to get it off or something. Right. So there's our wheels. They're pretty much uh, both aligned. Because uh, you know, if you have, that one's pointing in a bit actually. So I won't bother to go over again. But what I'll do is I'll take that back out and shorten it a bit and that'll pull this wheel out this way to line up with that one because you want them steering both at the same angle not you know going against the grain so that's pretty much it uh, there's a bit of mucking around backwards and forwards obviously but that's the main aim is to get both wheels pointing in the same direction go to the old mower shop see if you can get that replacement tie rod in if it's happened to you. Worst case scenario, see if the new ones can be uh, used with two new tie rod ends if the thread's different. You'll get there. Buy an old mower for parts is a good way too. Okay, thanks for watching.